there down here at the library. We've got more new books because it's a new month. It's May already. Can you believe that? Well, let's get to it. Let's start with a picture book about dinosaurs. Look at how great this book looks. 10 minutes to bed, little dinosaur. This cover is super cool because you can feel all the details on there, all the glitter. You can feel the volcano. You can feel the words, the dinosaur. It's super cool. And it's just the cover. So let's open it up and look inside. Now it's 10 minutes to bed and mama dinosaur keeps counting down for baby dinosaur because he doesn't want to go to bed. He's too busy exploring and going on adventures throughout the land. He's having a good time. He doesn't want to go to bed. But as you turn the page, we are counting down from 10. So we start at 10 minutes to bed. Then it's nine minutes to bed, then eight, then seven, then all the way down. And baby little dinosaur keeps getting farther and farther away. Is he gonna make it home on time for bed? We'll have to find out. So here we go. 10 minutes to bed, little dinosaur. Where are all my Spider-Man fans? I have a great new level one early reader book. It's called Miles Morales to the Rescue. I have a secret for you. Are you ready? Miles Morales is Spider-Man. Yes, he is Spider-Man. Now I know we all know about Peter Parker, yes. But did you know there were other Spider-Mans in the world? Miles Morales is one of them. There's also a girl who's Spider-Man. Her name's Gwen Stacy. You can learn all about them in this book. Now this book specifically covers Miles Morales. It talks about his life, how he became Spider-Man, it introduces you to his parents, and you can also meet all of his super friends. Yes, look at that. He has a bunch of super friends that he goes and fights crime with because he's Spider-Man. All right, so here we go. You wanna learn all about Miles Morales and his adventures as Spider-Man? Here you go, Miles Morales to the rescue. Where are all my early readers? Now you early readers, you're in the like five to eight year old group. You're not ready for the big giant chapter books, but you need a little bit more than the leveled readers, right? So here we go. Our principal breaks a spell. This is a super fun new series that we have just for you guys. And we have more books just like this. Now this book follows a school, PS88. Yes, that's the actual name of the school. And one of the students has cast a silly spell that just kind of goes crazy throughout the whole school. And now the principal has to figure out how to undo it so they can get back to order. Yes. Super fun. Now what's really great about this book is it has a nice big writing for you guys. It is broken up into chapters. There is a character list in the beginning so you can see who all the characters are gonna be. It does have the chapters, the chapter titles. So those of you who are getting into chapter books, you can see all the chapters. And at the very end, get this, the best part. At the very end, there's a word list because you guys are still learning how to read, right? So this word list helps you with some of the words that are a little bit harder throughout the whole book. And you don't know what, they, what that word means? Just go to the word list. It's gonna be right there to help you out. So here we go. Our principal breaks a spell. Books about libraries. Who doesn't love books about libraries? Well, I got one here. It's called The Dragon in the Library. Now this is for our older tweens, our eight to 12 year olds, maybe some five to seven year olds. We'll see, depending on how the book is. But it is about 200 pages long, so keep that in mind. But this book follows Kit. This is Kit right here. Now Kit does not like the library. Can you believe that? She doesn't like reading at all. She'd rather be outside playing in the mud and getting dirty than being caught in a library reading. But one day, a couple of her friends make her go to the library. They wanna go, so they make her go with, her, with them. But while she's there, she discovers something incredible. She discovers that she is the youngest, the youngest wizard in the world. And on top of that, she discovers that there is a secret dragon sleeping and living under the library. Can you believe that? Well, now she's on a mission to save this dragon and probably the whole world. You'll have to read it to find out. Here we go, the dragon in the library. Who doesn't love cats? Better yet, who doesn't love books about cats? 
So I have a great new chapter book for our eight to 12 year olds. It's about 290 pages, so it is a little long, but it's really great. Now it follows two cat friends. These two cat friends were just adopted by a really nice family. Only there's something in the house called the scaredy cat. Yes, and this scaredy cat is ordering them around. He's telling them that he, they have to follow his rules, otherwise he's gonna get them in trouble. Well, how's he gonna get them in trouble? Well, he's gonna do things like knock things off the furniture, he's gonna spill the kitty litter, and they're gonna be the ones getting blamed for it. But these two friends, they're not gonna take it. They're gonna uncover the truth behind who Scaredy Cat really is so that they don't have to listen to him anymore. Super fun, really hilarious book to read. Here we go, Scaredy Cat. All right, guys, do you like graphic novels? How about spooky graphic novels? Well, I got the perfect one for you. Black Sand Beach. Are you afraid of the light? Now don't worry, it's not super scary, but it is kind of spooky. Think zombie rams, creepy voices in the wind, all kinds of weird stuff going on. Now this story follows Dash and his friend Lily, and they are spending the summer at Dash's family home that's at Black Sand Beach. But Dash doesn't wanna go because he knows all kinds of weird stuff always happen there, so he's not very excited to be going. Lily doesn't understand why. So they're going through this whole journey with all kinds of spooky stuff happening to them while they're staying at Black Sand Beach. You wanna know what happens to them while they're there? You're gonna have to check out the book. Here you go, Black Sand Beach. Are you afraid of the light? Okay friends, that's all we have for now. Don't forget, if you're interested in any of these titles, you can always place a hold at www.rivlive.net or give us a call and we'll help you out. Until next time.